weapon in here, and this is going to be a bench. This is our first bench side video, and this is my my bench, as you can probably guess. And this right here is the Ruger Vaccaro. It's a single action 45 Colt, and the reason that we don't call it a 45 long Colt is because there's been no need to for the last hundred years. So skip the long part. It's just a 45 Colt. 45 Colt. This is the the early model of the Vaccaro. There's two models. There's the new model and the old model. The old model can be loaded to near 44 Magnum velocities, while the new model cannot. It's not quite as strong, and it's got a slightly different grip frame and stuff like that. Uh, fine weapon. I love shooting it. It's a lot of. It's a great deal of fun. Uh, not adjustable sight, but it's an instinctive pointer. So. When you point at something, the sights are just lined up automatically. Beautiful weapon. But I got to shoot single, I get shoot mainly one-handed. And because of that, uh, this pistol comes with a nice walnut grip, but it's a smooth grip. There's no checkering on this grip at all. So what I wanted to do is add these checkers, checkered grips, checkers, these checkered grips right here. Right there. As you can see, nicely checkered. And you see the eagle in the center there. Uh, I wanted an all checkered grip. They didn't have the style I was looking for. And these come from Altamont. Uh, they didn't have the style I wanted. So I chose the eagle because eagle represents the United States. With me, you know, in the, you know, it, with the, me in the military for so long, and I wanted to go ahead and and I have a backup plan of using the eagle. So what I'm going to do, we've got the glasses here. You, know, you always want to make sure you wear glasses. You never know. You might be unscrewing something in a spring hits you in the eye. And for me, I like checking out the gals. And it's hard to do that if you're wearing an eye patch. So always wear the eye protection. We're going to go ahead and quickly remove the screws. Okay, screws out. Uh, one thing you'll notice is the screw, the original screw on this one here is a chrome plated screw. And this other, the new grips come with two screws and they're blued. And if you're wondering which one to use, just take a look at the screws. One of them threaded all the way and the other one's threaded about halfway. And when you're removed, threaded about halfway, pretty much tells you which one you got to use. Now we'll take the grip off, take that grip off. Now I want to go ahead and Explain something real quick. On the inside here, you want to make sure that you look at the weapon, whether it's a rifle, shotgun, pistol, or, or anything else. Make sure everything looks as it should. You should be able to look at that and say, that about looks like it should, and there's nothing rusty in there. It doesn't look like there's anything bent or missing or loose. Do a quick inspection that way. And then, for me, uh, from my military days, I developed a, a system for oiling weapons, and that is a real horsehair brush. I uh, don't use the synthetic brushes. Synthetic brushes don't hold oil. But the, the actual horsehair brushes do hold oil. And this, this is a 20-year brush. And so that holds up quite well. Over the years, I've been putting oil on this brush. And it, it just kind of absorbs the oil. So at this point now, and it doesn't take long, just you know, a couple applications and you're done. Now I can take three drops of oil and oil a complete rifle. It, it, it makes it so I'm applying all the oil in a perfect coat. And what I want to do is I want to apply a good coat of oil on all the surfaces on the inside. Now, if you're using, like in the military, and the, the, the guys will go ahead and they'll take a patch, they put oil in the patch and rub the patch all over. You end up with runs, streaks, and everything else, and spots that they miss. With a paintbrush, you're able to go ahead and you go like this, and you're getting all the cracks and crevices, getting into the spring, getting all the inner workings. Both sides, it gets a nice satin sheen. There's nothing runny, and it's done. Now, it's not only done, but it's clean, too. So we'll take this, and we'll drop on the new grip. We got one on. We got two on. And let's get her tightened down. That is a great way of, of oiling any weapon you have. Trust me, I've been doing that a long time. And 
Now, it, it works. I've never missed a, any inspection based on oil. Uh, matter of fact, I really never missed too many inspections at all. They always get you on something. But Okay, now we've got our Ruger Vaccaro dressed up a little bit nicer. As you can see, it looks a little bit nicer now. And I'm sure some people will go ahead and say, I don't like that. I don't care. It's my pistol, damn it. <laughs> so as you can see now, it's got a good feel. It's got a good grip. Checkering helps. Makes it feel really good. I like that. And that right there is basically a quick how to replace the grip panels or grips on a Vaccaro. And if you have a pistol that is, you know, the bluing is really dull, uh, surface rust or anything like that, what you do is you go to Walmart, pick, a, pick up some steel wool, ultra fine, and use that to buff up all your bluing. And your bluing will go ahead and get nice shiny again. It's also great for removing rust and everything else without damaging the weapon. You never want to use sandpaper or anything like that. Just use very extra fine steel wool. Go over the weapon and it'll buff it up nicely. As you can see, this right here looks quite nice. Uh, the center section here, and you don't have to worry about that. It, it's not missing bluing or anything like that. It's case hardened. It's supposed to look like that. That right there is the Vicaro with the new grips. If you have any questions, post it in the comment section below. Uh, we're going to be doing quite a few more videos coming up, and the next one is going to be on the rifle. Uh, if you take anything away from this, make sure you, you remember how to apply oil. This is a really good tip. I've been instructing people how to do that for 26 years. So it, it, it's a really good thing to do. Check you out later. I'll check if you've got a, a good video channel, then I've been probably anytime that you post in the comment section below, I typically check out your channel. If you've got a good channel, I'm going to go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to mine, subscribe now. Otherwise, you're going to miss some good content and good videos coming up. We're going to do the bench as well as hitting to the range again. And we're going to be doing high-speed videos and testing and stuff like that. Got an idea? Post it below. And that's it. We're out of here. Talk to you later. Come on.